welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jennifer and this is part two of Santa's poinsettia tree stocking. And I went ahead and did his face um, mainly because it's mostly satin stitch. And um, as most of you who've seen a lot of my videos know, I'm not the biggest fan of satin stitches. <laughs> so I don't really film them because they take so long. Um, I am trying harder to get better at the stitch so I can actually show you how to do to do it but um so basically every single color two strands of satin stitch and then the eyes have french knots as the the white dots so if you don't know how to do french knot i will add that video that i made about french knots in the cards above so make sure you click that if you don't know how to do french knots and then um the face is lightly stuffed and i'm using the applique stitch to attach his face to the stocking so pretty simple. Yeah, I um I think out of all the stitches, the satin stitch is my least favorite. <laughs> it just takes so long to do and it. And if it's really easy to mess up because you want it to look smooth and all that stuff, so Okay. Just checking to make sure there's not too much stuffing in there. And then we're going to start on his arm. And his arm is fairly simple bead sequin and stuff just a little tiny bit and then applique and then same with this piece and same with the glove and the glove has two pieces and a black outline stitch to two strands and that's how they're going to stack together so I'm going to actually finish his arm off camera just so I can um, get it on just right Okay, so here's the finished arm and the hand. Uh, I'm just gonna applique on camera so you know how I do it. I've had a lot of people ask me about appliquing pieces that are stuffed that have a back piece to them. And um, it's not really, actually, you know, it's not really a, an applique, it's more of like a tack down stitch because it's not close together and it's just enough to make it feel secure because if you add too many tack down stitches it's kind of like an applique stitch so I just put them in areas that I feel like it needs it because if I um, if I use the applique stitch here then it looks it, it loses the three-dimensional effect a little bit this way, it'll look like he's waving. Or in this case, he's holding a poinsettia flower, which we'll add later on. So I'm just tacking it down. And then once I feel like there's enough stitches here to keep it down, then I will secure it with a double knot. I like doing pieces like these because they're fairly simple, not too complicated, and they uh, are very quick to stitch and put on. And that's one thing I, I like about this stocking is it looks like there's a ton of elements when really it's not. Um, I will be doing the tree, and um, the tree just looks like there's so many things to it, but really... It's only a few things. I think my favorite element is, of course, the poinsettias. Once you add the poinsettias onto the stocking, it really brings it alive. So notice how when we do the tack down stitch, you will see some of the lines. And I like to just take the very tip of my needle and gently rub the stamp off. It will come off. Sorry, my camera is not focusing. What the heck? There we go. Okay. So yeah, um, if I want to hide, I like to just kind of uh, push the stamp up towards um, the objects that I'm trying to hide them under. And sometimes the stamp uh, will come off and sometimes it'll just kind of disappear if you do that enough. So... All right, we've got that piece, and then we have his boot. And the white piece is for 
his pants. And the boot is stuffed with black beads and black sequins. And then the white piece, we are just going to applique and stuff that. And now onto Santa's body, very similar, just adding beads and sequins here and there, and then adding the pieces and stuffing them. It's fairly simple. There's not a lot of um, embroidery on these pieces. It's mostly beads and sequins. So I very lightly stuffed Santa um, just because I know in the future if I overstuff him, <laughs> it'll be uh, hard to maneuver around. And the band and the belt, bead and sequin and applique. These are not stuffed. Mm. Looking so cute. Okay, so I, I like to applique the outside first and then I go into the in the middle and applique the middle. And then I add the little white um, circle, which is like a button. And now we're gonna work on the hat. Hat is fairly simple. The red part goes first, and it's a, a tiny bit of stuffing, and then the white brim, and then the end of the hat. Is I believe it's going to, I, th I think I'm just going to um, attach the top of the hat, and then the, the rest of it's going to hang. I think that's going to happen. I think that's probably what's going to happen. Okay, so the mouth is satin stitch, black satin stitch, and then red satin stitch. And then the beard is an outline stitch. And it goes right here. I love his little beard with the little beads and sequins on it. So cute. And then this is lightly stuffed. And we're gonna put this on. Super cute. I love Santa's beard. <laughs> and now the mustache. The mustache comes in two pieces. Very, very lightly stuffed. Little tiny outline stitch in the very middle and I use blush for his face because Santa has rosy cheeks. So I just grabbed my e.l.f. blush because I love e.l.f. products. This is not sponsored by the way. <laughs> so I grabbed my e.l.f. blush and I'm just going to lightly dab his cheeks before I add the mustache. That way, um, I can I can control the the um, blush powder a little bit with my Q-tip, and this powder. I mean, it do, it depends on what kind of blush you have, but this one has a little bit of sparkles in it. Um, I think it's just super cute, and it goes really well with a the theme. Honestly, any blush will work. And uh, I would stick with a, a light pink blush if you can. That way you can control how much you have on there. Okay. Cute little Santa with his little blushing cheeks. And we are just going to uh, applique the middle of the mustache and leave the ends kind of just hanging there. Okay. Back onto Santa's body. I'm going to do his arms. And the, I think this is part of the bag. Okay, so there is part of the bag that his other hand is holding. So that's like the end of the bag. And, um... Now we're gonna attach his arm. Got some beads and beads and sequins and black out, uh, outline stitch, and his arm goes there. And his other hand has the same configuration with the white and then the green. And then here's the glove, and he's holding the bag. That's super cute. So that's the sequence that we're going to put them on. And I'm just going to hop hop over and do them off camera. These are all lightly stuffed. And now I think we're going to do the hat. It is time <laughs> to do the end of the hat. All right. I'm going to show you how I put this hat on. Um, this hat has two pieces, front and back on, on both pieces, and beaded and sequined. Fairly simple. 
and we're just going to follow the outline but we're only going to attach the top portion of it because I want the uh, I want the end to hang like it's like it's supposed to and if you have any stamps that are showing that you don't want them to show then you can rub them off if you want um, I don't know if I I don't think I need to rub them off right here but you need to make sure that the end is free and it looks so great so far oh my goodness Santa looks so great if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'm really enjoying this stocking, and I hope you guys are too. In my next video, I will be putting the tree together and the poinsettias and everything else. I will also be lining this stocking, so please check that out. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button to see more awesome tutorials and videos. I will see you in my next video. Bye! Mm -hmm.